6, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 22. I gotta respect that. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie. I am an absolute bear on Glacier main. <laughs> that being said, uh, it's a lot worse than Flint. And Flint's really fun too. Alright, I'm gonna take the Flint because I don't wanna like retire a deck. I don't wanna pull a Dreads, as you guys say. I don't wanna like have to switch servers or anything, you know? But you know, if I take it, I get zero frost. If I, if I pass it, I'm gonna be offered 14 frost spells. Oh, Excavate Shaman, my favorite archetype. Let's take it. I could, could pivot into, um, pivot into Jades. The problem is no classes can really play Jades other than Rogue, I feel. There are three reasonable Jade cards in Rogue outside of Aya. In Shaman, there's only two, and only one is reasonable. The six drops so bad. The card's just okay. It's not bad, but Wandmaker's a, a good card. Um, you know it's going to give us wind chills, too, for the bear on Glacier. Uh, not even close here. Nimbus is just like an absolute buster. You get the 5 mana 5-4 five, um, offered to you a lot, and you kind of need the Nimbuses, right? Uh, I think I like Delinquent more than Mana Feeder. Like, Toteming feels bad. Uh, Elof, thank you for the gifted sub. Their 15th gifted sub to Vampire Dad Games. I like Vampire Dad. Let's take this. Just a reasonable 2. Oh my god, Baryon, Glacier. <laughs> I knew it's going to happen. Uh, Sleepbreaker, I love. I think Primordial Studies is good, too. You can whiff. More often than not, you hit. But the cards you're hitting are like a 4-mana, four 4-4, four, four, a 5-mana, four 4-4, four, reduced to 4. I think the... Um, you know what? Are Prime Minions not in? Can anybody confirm or deny? I've been playing every day, longer hours, for over a week. I've not seen a Prime Minion. I've not seen one f for anyone. Are they not? That's out, out, oh, Outlast? Oh, I thought they were from Skullomance. I thought they were from the study set. Oh, then I really don't like that card. I mean, with Shaman, the Shaman Prime Legendary wasn't that good. It's Ashes. Oh, I, you know, I thought this whole time. I guess I haven't really thought about it because I haven't seen them. When they were, when, you know, we were talking about the sets coming in, I was convinced that the, the, the Prime minions were coming in. All right, well, I'm taking Sleepbreaker either way, but that's good to know. Um, let's take Deconstructor. I think that card is passable. I actually really like um, Herald of Lokalar in a Shaman Mage or potentially DK deck, depending on what you're pulling. If you're getting Frost Strikes, Glaciates, I I'm a big fan of Wind Chill, um, Cryo uh, Preservations with Excavate possibilities, like it's really good. If you're pulling like nothing, it's terrible. If you're pulling like ice barriers and horn of winters and stuff, it's probably not worth it. But I would take it over gangster here, even without any frost spells in my deck. But um, I'm going sleep. Uh, all garbage here. Oops, all garbage. Uh, I think I'll take the three drop. I guess you take some cards that don't cost two. Love note taker, but I'm I'm mining man. Show me a world where I can mine four times. I'm a big fan of Salesman. I think I'll just take it here. Not a huge fan of Call of the Finishers. In terms of playability, I'm a big fan of the sounds they make when they attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, there's got to be four of them. Uh, Tumbleweed's sick. The other cards are whatever. I mean, four mana for one, six, six, and it doesn't even have Rush and summon a copy of itself. Pathetic. All right. Punished for not believing in the Heart of the Jades. Wild Paw. I never get Wild Paw. I'm going to take it. I don't think it's close, even though I love that that Breaker. And I love Infested Watcher. See, I just like Shaman. You just get a lot of good cards. Like, this is fun. I think this card is fun because I get to win games. I get to read more chat when I cast that card. Because I don't have to think about the plays. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Broom. Broom, Broom goes the Broom. The Rush Brush. The, uh, the Cleaner from... I don't know. What, he had a bunch of nicknames. For one player, the important one. <laughs> Me. I'm the important one. Let's take the Witch Doctor. I don't know. I, I, totems are cool. Another... I could have had three Jades. She snowballed pretty good with the Sleep Breakers. But I'll just take another Jade card. Might just burn people out, right? I like Trusty Companion, too. I'm actually a fan of Disciple, but less so now that Pack the House is, has not been in for a few rotations. Um, it feels harder to get... Um, 
relevant overload cards actually to me. Trusty Companion can pull us something. Elementals pulling elementals. That's about all we got going right now, but still, two mana plus two plus three is pretty pretty reasonable. I like Turn the Tides. I don't mind Thunder Bluff, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Hello, Dreads in chat. What's up, Keck W? That was a solid 8.5 on the on the Murlocs. I miss Redbeard voice acting. All right, give me a request. I'll do one for you guys, but you got to wait for the game. Uh, third, we could have had four Jade Lightnings. It feels harder to burn people with how much healing there is. True, I agree. I'm going to take the Fire Ellie. I think it's still better. And we do still want a, kind of a net surplus of critical mass of Elementals, too. Uh, card draw is okay. I do find drawing cards in Shaman can be hard. The three drops is not that good. I'd hate overloading. I can't believe like Shaman still has to like pay a price to do things. <laughs> Every other class just gets to do everything for free. Nothing should have overload. Um, Walking Mountain should give you an extra mana crystal. Like the fall, you should ramp you up to eleven the next turn. Good morning and good runs. We've had two runs today. Both have gone seven. Can't really complain about that. I'm gonna take the card draw. Dehydrate. I just hate a tower sergeant. I just you have to work to get an overstatted minion? Barf. Oh, there's our living prairie. Wouldn't mind a shale spider. Take that over the last couple of picks, probably, but this card's just kind of nutty. It's kind of like a uh, a wolf that you have to work harder for. I like Pebbly Page, too. Um, I have currently one overload card. Is that correct? I'd really like to have it. Oh, I have two. Okay. I'd like to have at least two, preferably three, but... The other cards kind of blow, and elementals do matter. Frostbite's nice. Erotic sediment. What's so erotic about it? Oh, I see. Um, I do like frostbite, but I'll take the sediment. It's fun to discover old crappy cards, isn't it? Uh, we got the Vroom Vroom. He's back. The Rush Brush. God, Alez had another nickname for him. Something like Cleanus. Like the Cleanus. I don't know. This deck would be sick with triple sevens. <laughs> Agreed. Uh, Johan Taddy. Thank you for the nine months of Prime. They're printing three mana six sixes now. Rip Tower Sergeant. Yeah. Three mana six sixes to turn your cards. I mean, I'm probably going to draft that card. Turn all your cards into fun shit. Could use a three. We have how many real threes? One, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four. Yeah, it could use another three. Could use just a card that cycles. I mean, the Cobalt Miners are kind of threes. They're kind of cards you can play on like 10 and stuff. You just kind of play them whenever. They're not really twos. I'm just going to take the Loot Hoarder. I don't want any of that stuff. Ooh, Projectionist. Why did I want Projectionist? Good with our um, with our Miners. Good with a lot of things, honestly. Even like the two twos that summon two two twos in Druid and Demon Hunter. Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, Lightning Reflexes. That's a big pickup. Let's take that. Forgot we didn't have one of those. Another Nimbus. Five mana dude. Yeah, I mean, any any card that has text. And every card has text. So, but yeah, it's particularly good. Is he an elemental? He's not. Oh, we're taking the Nimbus. Okay, last pick. Give me the Cobalt. Give me um the, the crab that eats things. What else do we want? Uh, The death rattle thing. Do we have any cool death rattles? Salesman's okay. Card draw's okay. Add a card. We've got a couple things. Well, fuck it. We'll see. Yeah, Loyal Henchman's sick. I like Surly Mob in the sense that, like, it's a deadly shot, and then it's a double deadly shot, and my opponents always seem to make it to the last one. I think I've beaten it every time that my opponents have um, have made it to the destroy silence and destroy the whole board, my board, for three mana, and then I just kill them the next turn. Somehow. It's only been cast against me two or three times, but I'm pretty sure I've beaten it every time. The Risk Whisk. <laughs> I like it. There was one. I less had one, I swear. It was the Rush Brush, the Broom Broom. I'll take the Brisk Whisk. But we have a good Legendary, and we have a good Treasure. We have a good Curve. And we have a lot of card generation. Wow, how did that view take that long? Lightning? Lightning Storm? I don't, I don't really value Lightning Storm that highly. Lightning Reflexes. We have one of those. I like to get them from there. Let me go look at like the most common Shaman cards. Hey, B-Bart, good to see you. I saw you earlier in Dreads' chat, I think. HS replay, common shaman that we missed out. Shockhopper. Shockhoppers feel really strong. Um, so the ones we missed out on. Hex, Shockhopper, Cactus Cutter. Eh. We passed a Frostbite, Tempest Hammer. Don't stand. Um, Lightning Storm, 
glaciate. You know what? I think you throw two glaciates in here instead of, you know, a couple of these redundant two drops, and I'd feel a lot more confident. Glaciate's kind of my, my guy. Um, but outside of that, we got a lot of the good common cards, though. Menacing Nimbus, Living Prairie, Fire Ellie. These are just in order, coming from most common that we did get. Um, one Infested Watcher. I just feel like a lot of times Infested Watcher gets so much better, right? When you have two or you've got a couple ways to get up to five or six tendies. Um, we did get a Tumbleweed, we did get a Wild Talk Cavern, and we did get a Lightning Reflexes. So I certainly can't complain too much about like common cards that we, we were able to grab. Henchman is nice. I think Henchman, Dose, I think, claims, stated, I don't know if I'm misspeaking, I believe Dose claimed that Henchman is the second best treasure. He thought it was the second best treasure. Do I have four excavates? No, I only got two. I'd feel a lot better if we had just like red wind training. We had a really long queue there. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe they disconnected. Maybe we both, maybe they were in the queue and they just ended it because their, their queue was really long. I'm not sure. But. I, I said there was a possibility we went zero, and Judge said no possible way we can go that low. I'm going to say nine. It's so hard to predict nowadays. The treasure is sick, and it can carry. Treasure is great. I don't have a lot of threes. Maybe I just keep that. Plus, I don't want to mulligan too much, because what I really don't want is to draw that henchman in my, in my mulligan before drawing it for free at the start of the game. Imagine Henchman buffing at the start of the turn. Well, what? It would just get plus one, plus one more? <laughs> Is that a big deal? <laughs> Maybe. Or would it be worse? No, it would be like mostly the same, right? Wouldn't it? Um, let's see. Are there any new followers? We got Johan. We got Jubalaya. Wait, do I have? I might have follow notifications turned off again on accident. Alert box. Follows. Oh, no, they're enabled. Hello, what's up, Jared? Uh, how do I spend three? I just play this. My totems, my Where's my elemental? It costs more than this one, though. My pretty scrotum. Hmm. Yeah, I don't need. I could try to pop off. Oh man, this is nasty too. Is this a five? It's a four. All right, well. Totems suck anyway, right? After a friendly elemental is healed. Yeah, maybe he feels like he wants to kill that one. Maybe. Hey, where's Judge? Why do we have Judge so much today? I mean, I'm happy. Is it because there's no Veritas stream? You guys don't usually do Friday nights, though, right? Will my 200,000 stimulate the economy? Or will I be rich? Will I be pretty? Yeah, you'll be rich. You'll be rich. Plus one, plus one would help? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure exactly. I mean, yeah, it'd be better. You know, I find most cards would be a bit better if they were plus one, plus one in stats. Whenever a friendly minion is healed, give it to attack. Remember, overheal doesn't count. A minion actually has to be injured. I had enough rub from last time from the ribs. Cold smoking with cherry for 30 minutes. Then into foil pouch for three hours. 225. Then cook down what's in the pouch for sauce and broil. I hear a uh, jingling, so I'm going to see maybe if this guy wants to come in and maybe take a nap. Okay, um, playing the six. Hitting his face, bringing him all the way down, 26. He's sick. Or we'll be doing it tomorrow. Starting a little later tomorrow. So figured a few drinks and catch some red would be nice. Oh yeah, you're doing a um, subathon. Is that right? A sub drive? Subathon? A uh, milking of chat for their money and affection? I saw it your stream today. You were wearing a hat. <laughs> you're wearing a sailor's cap. That should be fun. How am I already 1-0? Uh, my first opponent conceded or disconnected or whatever. Dead skeleton uh, beast. Or, or, hear me out. Elemental? Hello, by the way. What's so up, Brother easy. Jay? Well, this could be worse. Tonka Brew, I was thinking about you. I went to the supermarket <laughs> the other day. 
Not today. Yesterday. And I was like, I wonder where Tom Cooper is at. Maybe you took taking a ferry from like, you know, one island to the next and it maybe sunk. Why not the eight mana? What was the eight mana card? Doesn't it suck? Missed an eight mana 16? Wait, did they buff that card? I didn't even look at it. Osra? Isn't he a five power minion or something? Doesn't he just like suck big, you know what? Bolt this dolt. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't really look at that card. Uh, what did I take? I took th this is better than that thing. Having the ability to respond to the board when you're already ahead on board is a lot more valuable than putting a big shitter on board that just dies to a crab and loses you the game, you know? What is Ozark now? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they buffed him. I don't know. <laughs> if it, I, I will say, you stream every day for six years, and you see an awful lot of Ozarks, and you condition yourself to not look at him. Save the brain power for turns and cards that matter, but... Man, Ozark's like the fucking worst card. I, I hate that card. I did play like a 530 Ozark once, and I don't think it did anything. Is that how you spell him? Do I want to craft him? Not a chance. Do I want to look at him? Oh, he's got 8 power now? He used to have 5, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe it was worth considering for the memes. I honestly think an 8 mana Ozark is worse in that spot than the... Um, the, the rush minions. Because again, you're just going to get hit by a crab or an obliterate or a three mana destroy a minion, gain health equal to its health. Like those cards, honestly, like Sleepy Dragon, Ozruk, they have to have rush. They have to have death rattle. He's supposed to be an elemental payoff. I mean, he was an elemental payoff. And in, in at the time when Goro came out, if you played a five mana, you know, eight mana, five. 25 taunt like there weren't that many answers for a card like that but even then like there was polymorph hex death black knight like even then like it wasn't really you could promise me i'll get a menacing nimbus y you know what chat would d does promise that don't they he's cost nine yeah i think he cost nine <laughs> just imagine <laughs> spending nine mana on that it's been a few days how are you i'm doing good man i'm doing good sorry i uh Got a little distracted thinking about you. Taking Buckleberry Fairy. What have you been up to? What what does Tonka Brew on his Tonka Brew do on his days off when he's not watching an old man play? Do you pronounce it Garrosh? I pronounce it Garrosh. Garish? Garrosh? Was he in War Warcraft 3? I think he was. Yeah, your empty promises have come through for once. I always pick Death Knight in my draft just in case I meet an Osruk player. Why would you need um, Death Knight to kill Osruk? Everything kills Osruk. <laughs> Everybody does, except my deck can't really kill a big minion, but his dad was. Rom was? Hey friend, who was? Who were the guys? How can I not kill this? He's a main character in the orc campaign. I thought he was a main character in the orc campaign. Whenever you play an overload minion, summon some sparks to rush. This thing costs five now? After this attacks, freeze it. What the flip? Let's take this. I'll get an overload card at some point, right? It says after you cast an overload card, right? Not after you're overloaded. I can, I can play this, not overload, and play that. Good to know. Um, Cuckoo, thank you for your follow. Cuckoo. He's not crazy. Institution. Don't call him crazy. Alright, that may be the best Dungeon Shield Master of the last four years of Hearthstone. Actually traded with my board. Rosruck is, as chat says, Ironbark Protector is shaking. <laughs> His leaves are literally falling to the ground. Like so many tears in the rain. Why is that big? Oh, it got the buff. How many buffs did he get? Two or one? Forget, and I've, I've lost. I've lost the beat. Play a two mana five five. I think I like just freezing this guy. Playing some guys. Should have waited to see what I got, but that's okay. Oh, that's sickening. That's sickening. I wonder, question, why Redbeard was spared? Pardon me? All other Hearthstone streamers died? You would benefit from increased viewership? I would. But I would prefer they live. And I'll just live. We can all just live. In fact, I'm writing a bit of a song concerning the uh, sentiment. It's called... 
I hope all the Hearthstone Arena streamers continue living. My red beard and the funky bunch. I can go to, to I can get a bunch of six six taunts here. Consideration. This thing has taunt, but I, my hand's gonna be super juiced. I'm gonna tumbleweed next turn, so I'm just gonna stack my benefits a little more aggressively. I can go two two and play the two. Maybe that's okay. It's not that much power. See what two we get. And a carry, canary, I don't care about him. I don't canary about I don't canary about him. No, that doesn't work. Redbeard in the funky smelling bunch. Redbeard inviting you to a funky brunch. You know what they say about Mr. Red? He's a liver. No, he said, ow, my liver. The time he punched himself. Wouldn't it be a nice addition to Arena whenever you play the game? You can add or remove a card to your deck. Remove the flaws and perfect it. I mean, it sounds like you're describing duels, which I think would be okay. I don't know if it'd be like the greatest thing ever, but I don't think it would be the worst thing ever. Here, whatever. I like drafting. I like, you know, deck building and so on and so forth. I'll allow it. I think if you did something like a lot of things like that, and made them just like a month long thing and then rotated those almost like a twist on the arena metas a mode that people actually like and care about and play but you twisted it minimally like periodically and you made it so like you could just add a card or remove a card so you could perfect your deck or like one meta you could take all three cards one time or maybe like you know maybe the twist was that it was dual class arena for a while even if tumbleweed is a tad overtuned i love the animation does twist still exist i think it's coming back i'm not really sure <laughs> it's hard to say it's hard to say I got this. if i get a rush minion life steal could have tested there but it's fine that is what it is We've created a temporal anomaly. Why did I think that that worked? <laughs> hey, Redbeard, how come on NA, the last seven posts in a row, have played, have had top five legendaries and haven't been able to draft a top 20 legendary in top seven runs? Are they really lucky or something going on? Oh, well, there are more bots on NA and Asia than there are on EU, certainly. You took one for the team. I mean... I wouldn't have even thought that that would work. <laughs> I guess... Uh, no, of course that wouldn't work. Six. Okay, six is nice. You guys like six? I like six. Uh, let's see. Five, five, three. Four, one. What am I doing here? I don't know. Getting a little more health, though. Uh, let's shoot it. Straight in. Um, this guy down and this guy down. How am I supposed to win? I got flint. I thought I would be drawing wildpaw caverns in some of the games. Maybe we'll do that later. I feel that all the good ideas are gone now. It stinks because I want them to do well and introduce good game modes. They keep coming up with shite ideas. Well, I too want that. Caverns and Sleets needs to get the heck in here. Give me caverns. Give me sleets. What is sleets? Give me, um... Oh, hey. Okay, kind of weird. Um, ancestral knowledge. I could throw this back. That doesn't seem like what I want to do. I need to draw a card. All right, first the tendy. Clear the 2-1, of course. Then the shadow word death. On the raid boss, Onyxia. Never lucky second best hit um it loses its immunity so that's kind of nice let's see if i can find a mm. okay here's what i'm gonna do i'm going to draw an overload card i'm going to play this i'm going to forge this and next turn i'll get a lot of stuff maybe hopefully draw my lightning reflex oh the sleets the little freezy thing i did get one this game huh Boy, I could have got another copy of a card that wasn't a 2-mana 1-1 one, one taunt. Perhaps that would have been... Good. Just 
glory is shit. Okay, so I have to draw a card or die. See that. I drew a card that doesn't really help me. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Um, I can freeze that. Throw this back. Just to force him to spend the mana. At least it reduces its stats. I can go eight. I can go four. I mean, if I had one more, that'd be better, man. I could just freeze it, maybe. Try to find like a better way through. I, mean, I understand I'm dead. <laughs> I understand I'm dying, but... I have no idea what I'm doing here. I mean, I'm losing to Troublemaker and Raid Boss, I suppose. Which is not all that unexpected. Would you call yourself a Cavern Dreamer? I would call myself a Cavern Dreamer. That order was not good. And honestly, not getting a Troublemaker down here is probably just worse than what he played. Especially in that particular order. I guess he doesn't want it to get Shadow or death. I'm overloaded, though. I gotta light a fire under his ass. Um, need a little bit of board space. I'm gonna be going through this. Uh, nature spells. Need board space. This doesn't matter which one I shoot. Uh, it does matter which one I shoot. That's not a nature spell. <laughs> Motherfucker. At some point, I'm going to start reading these goddamn cards. Boy, howdy. My opponents... are going to be in trouble when I do. I also thought I was getting... Oh, I did get another thing. I got a thing I couldn't cast. I mean, yeah, Troublemaker, not, not so good here. It's two, three mana, four sixes? It's a lot better than my two threes. I've already kind of depleted my deck of all the potentially powerful cards I have. Lint Firearm and Wild Paw. Sleepy Boy's here. Sleepy Boy. Right. Unfortunately, we can look into our deck and see that we cannot beat the cards remaining in his hand. Warrior doing warrior things. I mean, it's just tough to beat Raid Boss. Raid Boss still has like the highest played win rate and almost deck win rate of any card in all of Arena still. And Troublemaker is actually not very far behind. That's okay. Sometimes you get a bad matchup. Some decks are going to cruise to 12 wins or whatever. And you play them at 2. Lunch is getting undervalued with the expense of quick draws. I'm not sure what that means. Do you mean that Flint is not as valuable because there are more expensive quick draws? I wouldn't really agree with that. Um, in fact, a lot of times you want an expensive quick draw card because there are very powerful effects. Combo Flint with the new Mage Legendary. Not sure what that means. Not sure what that means. Um, let's click this button. Um, let's play this. A lot of the times the cheap quick draw cards are really not very good, especially on certain board states. So like, you know, refreshing crest crystals. I guess that's okay because it's free. But like, there's a lot of them like deal four and you don't really need to deal four. I was lucky enough to play Flint after a Curse of Flesh. Did you see? I had a clip. I it made it onto one of those YouTube channels. My opponent played a Tendi and it cast. Is that the one that makes the things cost health for the turn? They played a Tendi on one. And then somehow I got a Titan out. I can't remember. <laughs> I got a Titan out on turn one. That's the one? Okay, yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was a Titan. But it was like last meta. I can't remember. Do you get data on what streams people go to off of yours? Um, partially. Yes. Partially. Um... We're gonna we're gonna delve into Redbeard's data right now, okay? Analytics, engagement, discovery, uh, discovery, uh, uh, engagement. Okay, what the? This is bad news. Okay, channels, our stream shares viewers with. There are five channels that our our stream shares the most viewership with. 
You guys need to guess them, okay? I got DQA on turn one the same way. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. That's uh pretty good. Dreads. Um number dreads is number two. Save file 17 is number three. Uh dose is number one. That leaves two more. Now this is just shared percentages of streams. Uh let's see. And I'll give you a clue. It's actually not judge even though it's been judge a lot in the past judge and colst uh no judge no colst no team america now again this is just within the last month so sometimes raids can uh can skew the data a bit i'm not trying to bm him i actually don't really know what to do here hit and chop i guess i can just play this and i'm gonna take the extra damage on my face uh, Greg is actually number five, which leaves number four, and I see the name Mufundi in there. Mufundi is number four. Um, I would guess that probably has to do with Mufundi and Greg streaming before us and raiding us a couple times in the last few weeks. Um, which is strange though, because you would think Team America too. But I would imagine Judge, Team America are very close. They're all very close, except Dose. Is actually like kind of noticeably a bit higher. We raid Dose a lot, so maybe that's what it is. It's like we raid Dose the most of any stream because he's on, you know, when we end. I bet that's a correlation. Okay, but this the point was was Rudy asked if we get data on what people watch. So what are our people our stream watches? One, two, three, four, five. And I'll give you guys there's six that it tracks for me. 38% um categories that chat watches, you know. Okay, there's six. I'm gonna give you guys Hearthstone. And this isn't fun. Okay, I'll give you guys Hearthstone. I don't know why it tracks that for me. Of course, you guys watch Hearthstone. And then Other. There are four games that are the next most watched. I don't know exactly how that calculates it, whether that be like by sheer volume or percentage of people. I don't know, but you guys have to guess what they are. Uh, World of Warcraft has been on there and is not on there. It's not on there. Three. Hold on, let me take my turn. How big is this? Big enough to stop that. Bolt one of those. Okay, okay. We're kind of getting somewhere. Also, give me a second. I've got to um, whoop some ass here first. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's... Well, yeah, okay, sure. Uh, let's kill this thing off. Hold on, I'm gonna read the names now. Uh, not Snap. Uh, League of Legends is in. Let's just call League of Legends number two. Hearthstone's number one. League of Legends is actually number two. That leaves three more. Just Chatting is actually number three behind Hearthstone. Uh, so that leaves two more. Two more. Uh, Pal World is actually number four. So there's one more on the list, which is going to be harder to guess. And, and then there's Other, which is uh, Other and Hearthstone are so much more than... Uh, League of Legends is 7%. Just Chatting is 6 Pal World is 5%. So just factor that in. Artifact, Simant, Genshin, no. Mario Maker, no. Backpack, no. Raid Shadow Legends, no. <laughs> World of Warships. Um, I will give you a clue because there's many, many games. I think this is correct. I'm actually not 100% sure. Um, none of the things said in the last five were there. Magic is not it. Anything above Magic is not it. Uh, I believe it's just a mobile game, I think. I believe it's just a mobile game. And we have never, we've never been sponsored by this mobile game. Snap, Drake, um, that other thing. We actually did play that. Nike, not Rumble. Rumble, not Rumble. No one's watching Rumble. No one's watching Rumble, Sam. Darn <laughs> it, I was going to copy this thing. Thought about holding it. It only gives us our, our epic. Okay, first, uh, uh, second or third clue. It starts with an A, and it's two words. Genshin was a good guess. Genshin's a good guess. These are all good guesses. They just, I guess, aren't aren't on here. Maybe it's an indication of what we should be streaming. <laughs> Azure Lane, Ass Sniffer 32, Arc Light Rumble, Angry Birds, Among Us. Uh, none of those. Uh, okay, uh, second word starts with an O. First word... A, second word O, mobile game, I believe. 
only. Don't quote me 100% on that. AO. No, not AO. Be down for some snake content. Age of Empires. Albion Online is actually the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th, 4%. I don't know. I've never played Albion Online. I get commercials for Albion Online when I turn on YouTube on my phone sometimes. I've never played it. What is that? It's not a mobile game? It's not? It looks like a mobile game. <laughs> and I get, I get, um, <laughs> I get ads for it as though it's a mobile game. <laughs> I'm not trying to diss them or anything. I'm just saying. Bring on the Albion online sponsorship. It's an MMO. You can play MMOs on mobile games, isn't it? Sponsorship ruined? <laughs> I think you can play it on mobile. Oh, really? Oh, sorry. Well, then you guys get a little bit of a pass for not, not getting it. Because I didn't do it, right? 50 points? It's not mobile, it's really old. It looks cool. I mean, I think I would enjoy playing it, especially if they were paying me to play it. What is happening here? Okay, kitty boy wants to go outside again. Um, he didn't play an elemental. How do I ever, ever come back? What the fuck is this? After you play a battle cry minion, deal two damage to a random enemy. God, these are awful. Um, maybe I'll get a battle cry. Can't give him all these cards. I can't do it. I guess I skip. Okay, okay, dude, okay, chill. Everything it's your time now. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Um, why is that a 3 mana 6 6 stealth? Looks like RuneScape. I thought they were the same game. After looking at screenshots, I've been playing RuneScape for 10 years. I wonder what those uh, secrets are. So, this one is sorry, this one is cheat death, right? So we want to give him back, I guess, like the wolf if we can. We're starting here. We need good cheap stuff here. That's good. I mean, as long as we can get some more, some more stuff going on here. Okay, so we can give him that one. Which is the least useful one. Isn't that the name of the world in the Fable games? Albion. That's too bad. That's really a crying shame. Um, you don't pick the walks. can bolt one? I guess I've got better odds. I've got better odds of hitting one of these two this way. Surely I won't get completely kecked. As long as we hit either one. Uh, any more data in here? Alright, I'll just give you guys. We won't play the guessing game. I'll give you guys where people watch from. Um, our viewership by location. If there are any advertisers, spon potential sponsors, uh, I forbid you for list from listening, okay? You gotta pay for this information. 21% uh, from the United States. 8% Germany. 6% Russia. 4% Poland. 3% Canada. 3% also of the United Kingdom, Sweden, and Turkey. Um, I could do this. Couldn't I? Does this un-overload me or whatever? Nice. Nice hit. How did I draw nothing? Where's my ancestral knowledge? What the fuck is going on here? What the fuck did I do wrong? Right, give me a, um... Give me a menacing Nimbus Sleep Breaker. Leap Breaker might kill one of these, but I kind of die if I don't, uh... I kind of die if I don't hit that, right? Um, 2% Ukraine, Romania, Spain, Finland, Netherlands, France, and Denmark. No Australia, no Brazil. Oh, I got four or five easy, but maybe not Poland. Uh, why uh, does everybody I'm um, facing have that one specific card that I can't answer or kill? Doesn't feel fair. Doesn't feel right. I have to kill this one, huh? Uh, so that I can freeze this one. Lightning reflex getting a, a bolt. 
Um, he hit a bolt there. Five, six, seven, eight. No shout out to the AU and the Brazilian ladies today. We need more Australian viewership. And maybe it's just, you know, the other places went up, right? So the Australian viewership could have stayed the exact same. I played a game with uh, somebody from New Zealand called New Zealand Story as a kid and I loved it. We are Stanudachi refugees. I hope he's doing okay. I really do. I thought the US was at least 50%. I stream overnight in the United States, so I have a smaller US percentage than a lot of other streams, but I think it's usually around like 40% for most streams, I think. Jerring? I think that was a real person? Maybe we can face fewer uh, raid boss Anixias. Uh, let's check stream elements real fast. See if they have any offers to give us any money. We could really use some. Let's see. But from stream elements, it's better when it comes oh, from them. No potential sponsorships. Well, it's too bad. Keep all this crap. Yeah, whatever. Get the Living Prairie on 4 if we want to navigate it in such a way. You missed a sub? Um, hold on a second. If I did, I missed it again. Uh, Alert Bob? Recent events? Coinage? Let's hold the coin. Blue Tristar. Did I miss Blue Tristar? Oh, shit. Or was it you? Where's Blue Tristar? Good lord. Did I miss that? I'm so sorry. I fucked up. What was I doing? Just farting around? Trying to play this stupid game? No excuse, but in my slight defense, if you can, if you can at all forgive me, these games are a lot harder. There's like a lot more to pay attention to. I'm not used to like paying attention while playing Hearthstone. First Stan is doing fine. He burnt out from streaming. He reignited my interest for Arena and then he banished. Well, I hope I'm helping. You feel fun, excited, any of that type of emotions. Who did you hear from? Who's talking to Stan? What's my favorite class in this meta? I would say probably Rogue. I think Rogue's the, the most fun. And I think it's the most consistently good. Whereas, um... Like, Warlock has a higher win rate, but I don't think it's as good as Rogue as consistently. If your deck has two or three Sludges, a Waste Remover, you know, a Forge of the Wills or whatever, yeah, your deck's gonna look better than any other deck in the meta, probably, but I oftentimes end my draft without those cards. And then my deck looks like absolute bunk. Stan, in my opinion, is the best Hearthstone player of all time and not just Arena. It's hard. It's hard. You know, I always kind of equated in the top 100 Arena players to like the top 100 standard players and thought they were pretty interchangeable. But PJ brought up an interesting point one time, and he said in order to gauge that, you would really have to have the top Arena players play against only each other. Because like, you can be rank 1 Arena or whatever, rank 10 or rank 100, and you might just be farming, you know, bots and noobs and stuff like that. And, and you know, it doesn't, you know, it it doesn't really play out that way, but you know what I mean? Like, it's like if you took the top 100 arena players and then had them, like, draft and play against each other, I think that'd be interesting to see, like, to see. Um, I know he did well in Battlegrounds, but I, I don't remember him playing a lot of Battlegrounds outside of an Invitational. And it's like, you know, was he beating up on, like, Regis and... You know, as, as much as I love Regis, I mean, is Regis? My totems, my or was he really highly ranked in Battlegrounds too? I don't doubt that he, you know, like him or yourself or whatever, like the top ranked arena players could thrive in any game mode. But I wonder if it's like just cut as like Stan was like the best. It's very hard to do viable arena tourney. Yeah, I mean, it's very easy to do a, a viable arena tourney. You just have to set the parameters within some specific semi-arbitrary rule set that you dictate. And Hearthstone itself doesn't really lend itself to setting up a lot of tourneys very easily. Just because the client said shit. But you could make an a, arena tournament. There's a million ways to do it. I don't know if it's going to, you know. Uh, well, any one-off tourney is not going to really, like, be a great indicator of who the best player is in any mode in Hearthstone or in any card game. You're going to need, like, a huge sample size, which is why, like, the old tournaments where people grind the ladder for the entire year and then play a big tournament is probably the best you're going to get, but they don't seem super involved in, in, in invested in doing that with Hearthstone anymore. I once had a 58, uh, 59 game win streak against the Keeper. Wow. 
Today I learned that the Pope was slapped by a French general. Probably it's the reason why the French monarch fell eventually. Probably not. The guy actively dominated in other modes, though. He didn't just play arena, did he? I, I didn't really watch him play at all. I knew he was, like, the best arena player or one of the very best arena players. But, yeah, I don't doubt that. I mean, if you're telling me he was, like, at the top of the battlegrounds or the standard, like, rank one legend two kind of kind of skills, like, that is hard. As good as you are at arena, and I think maybe you could attest to this being as good at arena as you are, and then playing a, a pretty big chunk of um, constructed or, 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 um, battlegrounds, if I recall. Wasn't it just really hard to be as proficient at Arena as you are at Battlegrounds? I mean, obviously, you, you haven't invested years into the mode, but I, I've always found, like, I played a lot of Battlegrounds when it came out, and I could not get to, like, the top 200. I was usually just off the leaderboard, but it's like, I was trying and trying, and I just wanted to be on the leaderboard. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I got good. I was better than, you know, 99% of the people that played it, but... Those guys like Jeef and XQN and Shady Bunny and Collins, like they're just kind of cut above. What am I doing here? I feel like I can't really win by trading, right? I have three six. Why don't, why don't we do? Why don't we do this? I don't mean to rope him every time. I don't mean to pull a dreads, as it were. You know, we get the face damage in now. Could I hit these? I guess I take off a big chunk of power, right? Dress calls it his comfort rope. He does. Oh, this is gonna keep healing him though. Dude, this thing is annoying. This thing's uh really annoying. Alright, I just need to get a, a lightning bolt. How do I get a lightning bolt? How do I Oh, that's very good. Okay, you know what? Let's do that. As far as Arena goes, I think he's in a tier of his own by far. Me and some others have some pretty impressive numbers, but nothing in the same realm as Stan. Other modes, it was at least amongst the best. Yeah, and I guess that's fair, right? Because it's like, he would be amongst the best in other modes while only playing for a week or two or a month or whatever. I never watched Stan enough. I kind of wish I had. I couldn't, like I would watch Jumi sometimes. And I would think, um, like, oh, this game is 100% over. This game cannot be won. And then, like, 12 turns later, like, I'd watch the game. Not, you know, I, I just don't like watching Arena, <laughs> playing it as much as I do. But sometimes I sit and I watch Jumi. It's like, oh, well, yeah, I guess, like, yeah, that is the best play. He did this. He removed that. He killed this. Oh, he played to this out. He didn't get it. Okay. But, oh, next turn, he got this instead. Okay, and it's like nine turns later. You're like wait. He's kind of like almost even like how is this possible? And then the opponent would play and like another four turns would go by and you're like he won that game and you go back like you like it looked like a hundred percent a hundred out of a hundred times you would lose and he'd win and you'd notice like the you know like If you make the optimal play and play to your outs and do that over the course of 15 turns these games that feel like oh There was nothing I could do. There's something that Stan Udachi or Judge, or Jumi, or Collins could have done, and they do do, and that's why they win. <laughs> and that's why they beat you. Dog is great at any strategy game. Yeah. I, I, I think it's interesting to compare the guys and gals that stand out above the rest. Like a dog, I would say. Stanudachi, Collins. Like, no matter what, they're just always hyper-proficient at whatever strategy game they play. And it's crazy to think about. I mean, I imagine Jeep would be able to thrive. Jeep and XQN. He said doo doo. Same energy as Dog. Thrives at whatever he does. Are we talking about Stan still? Yeah. It's funny because a lot of these guys, they have different energy though. Like I'd say like, I, I feel like Dog is kind of like, like the best of both worlds as far as a streamer goes. It's pretty laid back. Doesn't rage. He's like incredibly proficient at these games. He's not like, like top 100 battlegrounds like he's like top one you know if he if he wants or grinds or whatever if like things line up for, for a meta but he's also like pretty relatable and yeah you know, he seems like a pretty um pretty good dude not that the other people aren't good dudes but you know what i mean it's like sometimes people just the the social social connection isn't always there with other streamers dog's a great player i wish you played more than battlegrounds 
I mean, I watched a ton of dog playing Battlegrounds. Uh, I've kind of fallen out of watching Battlegrounds lately, but I watched him. I liked watching him play Battlegrounds after the stream. That's fun to watch him play Constructed, too. I don't, I don't play TFT. He does a chunk of TFT from time to time. I, I never watch TFT. I don't know it well enough to even pretend to follow it. Yeah. Sure. Shoot it. Play it. The games where we're not playing against Raid Boss and Ixia have gone so much better. Three wins against non-Raid Boss and two losses to Raid Boss. Dog was a GM in Hearthstone. Made Challenger in TFT, pretty sure. He could be a leaderboard on Battlegrounds. Well, he's been ranked one in on the Battlegrounds leaderboard. I think he can do a bit better than just making it. I mean, the leaderboard now encompasses all, all players. I don't want to give him a card, but I don't really have a choice. I don't have any hexes in my deck. It was nice when he and Hafu would play multiplayer Slay the Spire. He did a lot of Slay, too, for fun. He does a lot of stuff other than Battlegrounds. He did Brotato a lot for a while, and uh, other, there's other games like that, Vampire Survivors. Dog and Hafu are for sure the most elite strategy power couple. What about Judge and Glitch? What about Dreads and Cookie? Amanda probably doesn't want to associate with him. <laughs> What's up, Red? What's up, Dotor? Dotor? Um... This is a better time. What the shit? Huh? Afu is cold. What about Dreads and Red? <laughs> what about you and me, Judge? What about Dreads and Red? The old couple always bickering at each other. <laughs> we are old, and we do bicker, but we're not a couple. Um, media, media, visible. You are the shadow's puppet. Okay. You were the shadow's puppet. What happened? Why is it? Why has it gotten so big? There's something Redbeard's not used to, to pondering. Um, hey, give me that. Ratsma? Oh, I love Ratsma. Every time you guys mention- not every time. A lot of the time people mention Ratsma, he just appears out of Lurk, and he's usually here. I feel like he has some sort of, like, device that when he hears his name, when it's typed, like, on the internet, he just, just, just shows up here. My totems, my totems. He gets mentioned, like, a few times a year, and then he'll just pop his head in and be like, I'm here, Redbeard. What about Dreads and uh, Ayahuasca? Is that how you say that word? Um, this is going here. I'm undead, not dead. Forgive me. Um. Uh, what's happening? That clears my whole board. Three, four, five, six. Double trade, I lose this. Well, that's crap. What about Masson? I'm a Masson uh, view. I'm a I'm a Masson view bot. I lose this, then I play the 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> Wish I could kill that. I, 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 I take a big chunk of damage on my tumbleweed. I actually can get free killed by that, right? So, man, not having a hex hurts this deck so badly. I got this. Okay. Arena had so much great streamers over the last five years. Dozens, literally. More than any other game, it seems. Well, not any other game. Uh, Fortnite or... I mean, you might like the streamers. Most people don't like us. <laughs> Most people don't. I just mentioned Crip. We watched any Monkey Man yet? Not yet. That's what I was trying to pull up. I was... I just... I, I, felt, I feel like I found a way to interact with this before... While, while it's hidden, but it didn't let me. Form, order. I want to pull it up and click some stuff. I guess I should have set it all up before the stream. Where'd my board go? Why does my board keep... Oh my god, brittle bone. Brittle bone, shittle bone. I hate brittle bone. That'd be fun runs. I'm all caught up with your YouTube. And yeah, we had two fun runs today. Actually, um... I could probably throw them up. I'm, I'm gonna try to just mark more of them. Oops. Alright. 
Just display capture because I'm lazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm scared to display capture because sometimes I look up medical um, medical advice on, on the Google machine. You know? What, why is my butt so itchy? I don't want chat to know about my itchy butt or anything like that. You know? Lest I accidentally pull something up. Um, why? Oh my god. Why indeed? Why indeed? Well, it's just so good when you get drilly from it. You need to use wet toilet paper. No, my butt doesn't. I was just kidding. <laughs> I use it. I wet it myself. Trust me, I know about wet toilet paper. Time to light a fire under this town. Kung Lee, the main boss from Bloodsport, is 89 years old? Where's my single target removal? Where's my single target removal? There's my single target removal. I'm playing this out as though he does not have a handful of elementals. But he may have a handful of elementals, in which case I can't, there's no way I can beat that. Right? Red owns the only bidet in the state of Oregon. I do own the only bidet in the state of Oregon. Magic is not a toy. That's not an elemental. That's not an elemental. Whoa, no spells. That's not a spell elemental. Um, wow, I can get another flint. That's nasty. That's the nasty patty. We've created a temporal anomaly. Oh. Darn. I guess I can flip it and double trade it. I still want to hit here though, huh? You love my new recipe. Normalize bidets. <laughs> yeah, they're fine. Let's normalize the bidets. Should I forge this? I guess I don't really need to. Take a spell out of my deck. Snake oil. Oh, the reflexes could be good. There's simply nothing. There's simply I can nothing. Try. I can blah 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 blah. All right, I'll kill that. I mean, if he had a spell, he would have used a spell. Or this is a spell that costs five or more or whatever. But I don't want him to top deck one. Normalize getting an erection from a bidet. It's a shame you don't play League Misfortunes. Creed, the overpowered at the moment. Well, I didn't need any more advantages, did I? When I played, I almost never lost. I can't decide what gloves my Guild Wars 2 character should wear. Can I post the pictures in the Discord and get some fashion advice? No knowledge about the game. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Uh, I can destroy his minion, but I guess I can just take turn the tides and maybe kill him. Maybe? Eh, sure. Uh, 6, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 22. If I trade off a 2, Don't. then I can kill him, right? Oh, you did it, Red. The shame I endure to erections from bidets is unprecedented. Wait, you guys are still getting erections? Oh, man. What a life. What a life. I could post my boobies instead. Wait, what's going on? Pardon me? Where are we going? What channel? In the boobs channel. I wish. <laughs> I wish, too, for you. Thrall versus Valir. Watch your back. For Doomhammer. Wash your back. They take a wrong turn out of Dredge's channel. Where the heck am I? He, uh, he, he ended early today. Chat couldn't get all their disgusting behavior out before they settled down and entered the gentleman's club here. It's weird that Priest Little Sunspot does 5 damage while Sunspot does 6 for 6 mana. Well, it's a dragon. It has tradable. You have to spend 2 mana to uh, turn it into a battle cry. Yeah. Did you hear Poet sniped me today? I did not. Would you like me to punish him? He is still an employee of mine. He's still somewhat of an employee of mine. I posted them in the fashion section. Your boobs or the gloves? I'm going to check. I don't have a lot of insight or, or interest in the gloves, but just in case. Oh, it was the gloves. No, I'm just kidding. I do have interest. Those look good. They match the character. That's your character? <laughs> 
Do you only have one character, or is your only character just freaking <laughs> mighty lion? <laughs> what the hell? That looks so cool. What's his name? I have nine characters. <laughs> I wanted a majestic Char Guardian. Char is the best race, Red. Let me show you mine. The first gloves? Oh yeah, the first gloves for sure. I, I didn't realize there was two different. Yeah, first gloves for sure. Absolutely. Undoubtedly. Almost a little a little concerning that that had to be questioned there. His name is Leopold. Remember, remember when you were making fun of Slagma's name yesterday? And then we were all coming, we were like kind of figuring out why they named it that. Learning like the Greek and the Latin roots and such. And then uh, Portgaz came in and called him Slagthor. I feel like he could name some of the characters in Guild Wars. He's got a knack for it. What's the best treasure to get at the end? And why is it 6-6 six, six Cobalt that gives your legendaries? Man, it only costs three. Yeah, that's the best one. Because chat loves it. And we like chat. Much as, you know, men and women can like a group of, you know, amalgamated conversers from all over the world. I buzz my hair since COVID. I use a credit card to scrape my head of the dead skin. It is ungodly satisfying. I hope you're collecting it all. Selling it. Or seasoning your ribs with it. Red, you can't spell glove without love. As we know from the yellow submarine. There's an old saying. No glove, no love. Wear protection, kids. Come on. Or, I don't know. Eat a type of pill that maybe, like, stops more humans from entering this world. Um, let's do this. See what I got. The dong before the storm? Well, don't be storming out here. Love amalgamations. Char are great. I have two of them. One male and one female. Um, for poet's sake, because I'm sure he's going to ask one day. Uh, in that game, can you make them do lovemaking or no? Because that's very important to poet. How did he get the plus one plus one? Uh, weren't that games? You can spell advertisements without... Oh my god. I should show you my short-haired female's latest fashion. I think you'll like it. I'm logged out now. Next time. <laughs> Didn't you just log in? That picture is from three minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, next time we'll be good, though. Did you come up with that fan? Me? Doing what now? I came up with things. I was playing for a couple hours. I took photos and I logged out. <laughs> oh, it's the weekend still, isn't it? Is it the weekend today? In Australia. It's bombing on me like, well, I'm sort of mad bomber. Um, play that next turn. If I play this this turn, then I can play like these two. Arena, weak end of the game. I posted my boobies now. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Whoa, your character looks cool too. Both of your characters look cool. I bored. Been banished like a bard in the wind. We rise to the war of the sun. If you played an elemental, each lo um, overloaded. If you played an elemental, draw a card. Um, my deck's just not that good, but I guess finding flint could be really good. But let's just play that. Um, do I want to do that this turn? Maybe I do. I can actually freeze this guy. Just throw that out here. This card used to cost seven mana. For five mana, it's not even that good. I guess it feels kind of fair for five. Because, um, Death Knight has a 5 mana 4 3 that summons two ones with a little bit of upside. It feels like without a condition, this might be a fair card. You could make it cost 6 without a condition of playing an elemental. Or it used to be 7. Yeah, this was originally 7. That was 8. Yeah, it was 7. Looks cooler though. It does look cool. And I like the Elementals Matters kind of synergy they pushed at the time. Just learned this moment that that card is not 7. Yeah, Osruk is 8 and has 8 power. This card is 
five now, apparently. I know a lot of the old stuff's been buffed in Wingoro. Some of the cards, I think, kind of floated around in Caverns of Time. But I'm not sure. You get a 4-4 that casts Ethereal Spirits. Used to overload for two. So it was good value back in the day. Yeah, plus it was one card that created three minions, right? There's always like a little extra value in a card that creates multiple cards. It's like if you're top decking one card, you can like you can only get Feral Spirits. If your card has a Feral Spirits attached to it, then it's like you drew two cards at times. So look at my eye and I can't see. I guess I'm doing this. I guess I'm sleeping like a rock too. Um, how badly do I want to draw? I mean, at some point I'm going to draw. I, I guess the way I figure it, the earlier I can draw my flint, maybe the better. Maybe I can kill him before the fatigue from drawing my flint. I must get whatever eyelashes in my eye, out of my eye. Um, I'm going to try to wait for him to take his turn and then take my turn and then go. Okay, you know what? I think I can. Okay, I'm Stealth and Lifesteal? What are these cards? Copy one of those. I would get up to an epic treasure. I really wish I could hit the legendary treasure. Um... I mean, he didn't really do anything last turn. Maybe that's his plan, though. <sighs> With a five mana spell from the epic treasure. To do what exactly? I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with that ability. What was uh, specific? Why do we want that one? Just because it's broken. Discover the five. Like to get the fourth one. You mean? That's incredible. I have very little idea what that resummons. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, Runethak came from somewhere. Well played. Yeah, like my butt is cramping. Um, I thought he might just concede when I pointed it. Um. You know, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> but it's not that good. Okay. Are you thinking digging straight down? That spells four mana. Five mana excavate is the mech rush. Why, why does everybody keep typing holy, by the way? Am I missing something? Why is, is that a thing? Holy, 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 holy. <laughs> is there a meme I'm missing? Is there an emote that's not showing up for me? We're really devout? Apparently so. Which I respect. I res what the fuck is that? I don't know. Started at the advertisement, advertisement message. Three, eight, reincarnate. I'm just gonna take this. I don't know what it does. So I hit here. Hit here. I hit here. Arena is mostly discovered by and created by. There's a lot of discovered by. There's a lot of created by. But those are the cards you draft, right? You draft the cards that can create the cards. But all the cards, like Hearthstone is just created by. Every card in Hearthstone creates another card, it feels like. It's too much. But at the same time, it's kind of fun. Oh, find a little thing, do a little thing.
Can't do butt slider. We're gonna be sliding butts like nobody's business. Okay, our record this run, 5-0 against non-Raid Moss Anixia decks. Our record against Anixia decks, zero wins and two losses. Make sure you guys do me a big favor and consider hitting the <laughs> follow button now. We're going seven plus with every deck this stream, mark my words. We are we have gone seven, seven, and we're five and two with the possibility of winning a few more uh, games. We definitely have the possibility of winning a few more games. Let's queue up. We got some work to do. Scooby-Doo, we got some work to do now. Before Tamsin Rome. For Doomhammer. I don't want these cards on this turn. Hopefully I don't draw my No! Loyal henchman. <laughs> All right. Hello, I've got some Hearthstone on my phone again after five years. I was decent at arena and now I'm not. I'm hoping to learn a thing or two here. Hey, good luck. Good luck. It takes time to learn. Um, you can still just have bad luck. I'd say the most important thing is try to have fun. Uh, Dabiok, thank you for the six months. Asks for followers and gets subscribers. I am now accepting all subscribers and all followers. I am. If anybody wants to hit the follow button, I would appreciate it. Any of those buttons. I don't know. When noises happen, it's good for me. Oh, that's a good draw. Wish I didn't start with this. Problem. It's the first time. I've had it a couple times. I never get it stuck in my opener. So in that sense, I've been very lucky. Arena's much harder now? Oh yeah, Arena's much harder now. Yeah, Break made me miss what you said, Redbeard, but all good. I actually just sent a, a letter, physical letter into Twitch, asking them not to play any more ads on this channel. I am hoping to hear back soon that they will no longer be showing ads here. Got my fingers crossed. Jazz, why did you break the holy train? <laughs> yeah, she broke the, the holy train. Two mana, three, three taunt. You know what card I would love to draw? Um, Not those. This one. No, not that either. The calm before the storm. I wanted, where is it? Turn the tides. That's what I wanted. I still have something in my eye. I'm going to work on getting it out. Very briefly, very quickly. Oh my god. Draw a hex. Unfortunately, hey, I could have used that. Unfortunately, I don't have a hex. It is sinful to disrupt the holy chain. I'm feeling that sludge on wheels maybe didn't need to be buffed, but maybe that's just me. I, th I thought the card was insane. The first day or whatever, I like, I don't always like look at the cards or think about them. I was I, like, the first time somebody cast it against me, I was like, oh, three mana, one, five, like whatever. And then they like killed something and then I hit something and then like they killed something again. And I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> it's like the stupidest thing. So many things happened for them. And then they buffed it and I was so annoyed. I was so annoyed. Hmm. I got But yeah, they don't really, don't really care too much about our, about our experience, huh? Should be a two four at the very least. Yeah, sure. Honestly, it's probably worse as a two four than it is as a one five, which is all just kind of crazy to think about. Totem screwed me. I was trying to be responsible. <laughs> I was trying to be responsible by not developing, you know, too too hard or whatever. Like, okay, I'll just toad him in case, you know, whatever. I won't tempo out my sleep breaker. My sleep breaker would have traded off one of those. I think it's in the only card. I think it's the only card that can test trial by fire for category of Y. It's funny because a lot of these buffs, again, they just never have an impact in constructed, but they oftentimes can ruin the experience in arena. 
It's such a small thing to just make it like a 2, 4, 1, 5, make it cost 4. Make it be in 20% of decks instead of 60% of decks. I think Trial actually like saw play, but I think Trial actually became a problem in Constructed somewhat. At least for a little while, I think. Maybe I'm wrong, but I was under the impression that Trial got like too good and actually sort of became a an issue. Judge, when did you register that handle on Twitch? Void Scripture is pretty dumb too. Just not this meta. I mean, Void Scripture is still a terribly designed card, right? Two mana, cast an eight mana spell potentially, or more, or whatever. Cards shouldn't do that. But that one does. And as always, these cards get buffed so they can see play and construct it, and then they don't see play and construct it. You'd think after 10 years you would start to realize like just making a card stupidly broken and powerful doesn't mean it's going to get played. So maybe design the cards a little more responsibly. More responsibly, maybe. Trial was broken at 7 in top 100 legend. Not that that's what we should go by, but that card, I really feel, should not have been touched. I feel like they also seem to touch cards too quickly these days. Does it not seem like that? It feels like Arena is usually getting micro adjustments after a week. That feels too fast. Constructed. Like, it's just like, I think it's a sign. I, I've talked about it and, and maybe I'm wrong. I think it's a sign of kind of shoddy design in a way. Where it's like you, you design cards poorly and then you're like, well, we'll just like keep buffing them and nerfing them. The cards can be designed poorly because they're too weak and they see no play. They can be designed poorly because they're too strong and they see no play. So it's like, if you're constantly buffing and nerfing and doing all this stuff, like I, I, that's like a, a, a bad sign. It's nice that they do it, but I think it speaks to like how strapped they are. They don't seem to play test much at all. The, de the design team is relatively small. It's like seven or eight people, I think. I think, honestly, Magic the Gathering has gone with outsourcing a lot of like card design create like high level players are kind of have been brought in the last few years in card design i think it really i think it really um pays a lot of benefits pays a lot of dividends if you're willing to make changes quickly that's cool as long as you're ready to revert see velarock have they have they reverted that have they said they're reverting velarock what's the story with velarock used to patch hearthstone like it was a physical card game what does that mean? What what does that mean? Um, you know what? <laughs> There's a card that could have helped me when I had two mana remaining. You mean like they never patched it? Really, he's getting nerfed. We don't know the details. Okay, well he definitely needs a nerf. And I've definitely had enough 12 win Velorock runs to satiate my need to have an unbeatable three drop but it, it'll go down as you know memorable and 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 favorable time in my arena memory bank uh all of the opponents i completely destroyed with a velarock on turn three or four i can't believe the discount is three yeah you know what'd be cool keep velarock mostly the same maybe make him a three five Discount by two or one or something, rather than make him cost more cards. I feel like he's a much more interesting arena card if he only requires one card, but he's much weaker. I don't know if uh, that's all it takes or whatever. This might require more. Why didn't I play this? Oh my god, I should have played this. Whatever. Probably gonna board lock me. Just having an extra totem maybe gives me another target to to buff and kind of dig that. I don't imagine at any turn that I'll keep minions on the board, but maybe. A oh, golden monkey to me on three and they velorocked me on five. It was a rough game, that one. Can't blame the devs. Huge layoffs now when the game would benefit so much from hires instead. But as a player, it'd be nice for some more action. Yeah, I mean, that I can't really speak to. I don't know if anybody from the Hearthstone team got let go. I, I don't know. Um, the layoffs always suck, no doubt about it. 
no doubt about it. But they've had design issues for years now. Not like this most like one card, you know what I mean? Especially from the perspective of an arena player. But you know, just because there's questionable design at times doesn't mean you know you want people to lose their jobs or anything. Odds on lethal. Probably low, but not zero. The calm before the storm. Handle it. Should I have buffed it first? Wait, that doesn't work. Uh oh. Uh, I'm not getting the rush, but I'm getting the attack. I don't know. I don't think we did in this well. <laughs> oh, I want that. X is nice too, but I want this. Uh, this was... I should have buffed something. Somewhere along the line. If I die, I blame myself. I think we could have just buffed this first and then maybe i'm not sure four seven eight nine token is a type token is a type what does it matter about type sorry oh this my totems couldn't attack though right could this one attack did they i think they both came from this thing right as a replay of the game may as well already have been shut down i mean they've done so much more for arena in the last you know six months than they have in the last six years probably hope he has hellfire in hand and he can't lethal just a draw. Wait, I get the legendary. If he's not dead. This battle is over. No! The last of me. The industry has sucked for years is the problem. More staff would go a long way. Yeah, you know what? I was thinking about it. And again, I'm not I'm not well versed enough to know. I think, right? And the tech industry seems to do it a lot more. I'm not saying, like, I want anybody to lose their job. I don't know the details. It always sucks. It, it just does seem like... You have things like Blizzard. And, and maybe this isn't the best example, because it's such an old company. But, like, it was such, like... It must have been, like, an absolute passion project for one or two or ten or twenty people. And you, like, build these incredible games that people, like, love... Like Disney, maybe Disney. You have like these really like iconic movies that people just relate to. They want to work at Disneyland. Working at Blizzard is a dream job. And then like things just get bigger and bigger and bigger. And then like it starts to become like this huge thing. And you start to lose some of that magic, right? And it, it becomes more of a business. It's just like it's it's like now Activision buys it, now Microsoft buys them. And then you get all these people now who aren't involved with the, the passion involved. And it becomes purely, you know, analytical, purely financial, purely about how to make the most amount of money in the least amount of time, and then ditch the product and move on to like the next thing. And it does kind of feel like that, that aspect of it feels the worst to me about the the layoffs in the gaming industry and stuff like that it's like the people that built the thing that enabled you to buy the thing are the people you're letting go now and like that really sucks that's why small indie companies really do make the best games shareholders only care about short terms right i mean moronic shareholders only care about short-term gains <laughs> stupid people only care about the short-term gain because if you you know, there is a breaking point, right? Like certain certain companies just disappear, right? And if you keep making mistakes, I'm not saying firing people necessarily is the mistake. Maybe hiring them was. Who, who knows? I don't know. Maybe over hiring in the first place. I, I'm saying if you keep making mistakes in the long term, you know, you will not have a company. You will not have shares. Your shares will not be worth anything. You will be dead depending on the context, right? Like, that's all I'm saying. Hades is a great one. Baldur's Gate. I don't know. It's just, it speaks to, and we're having a lot of different conversations on the subject, but it's like, my, my thought is like, it feels bad to have these people who make such wonderful things be the ones that, you know, even leave the company, right? Like somebody like Ben Brode, like Hearthstone was something he was, I'm sure, heavily involved in. And then he leaves and then he makes Snap and then Snap's this really successful, really, you know, in interesting game and then you know maybe he leaves that obviously in a lot of ways Hearthstone has diminished it's been a diminished product since he left 
then you make snap and then snap becomes a diminished product and you're just just i don't know just kind of sad at important positions in my career i'm happy to not be engaged in the anxiety anymore yeah me too i'm happy you don't have any anxiety well at least if you do it's it's different should i play a 7-7 probably Anyway, I'm speaking kind of out of my ass because I don't, I'm, again, I don't really know the details of some of this stuff. But it's just like, if I worked really, really hard on the stream, streaming every day, making sacrifices, um, remembering all these tough times, and then whatever, somebody comes in and they're like, hey, here's a million dollars. We want to buy your stream. Uh, okay, well, fuck yeah, I'm going to take a million dollars and like, we're going to replace you with, you know, whatever, some... TikTok kid. He's gonna play Hearthstone. He's gonna be a little worse. It's not gonna be funny. It's gonna look a lot better. <laughs> and, you know, whatever. Like, you know, and you'd be like, oh, well, that kind of sucks. But some people would stick around. And new people would come by. And they wouldn't care. They wouldn't care that it was, you know, a B minus version of Redbeard. Why the cards get burned? That's what that card does. Deal six, summons a six, and burns the bottom six cards of your deck. Replace you with dreads. Well, there's a there's a downgrade. There's only so much of a downgrade that people will will consent to accepting. No. How do I accept this kid right now? I like his style. Exclamation mark. Prime. Unless you want that new kid. Uh, he he's actually he's all on TikTok right now. His name is uh, uh Twerkenstein, I think. He uh, he twerks, but he paints his ass green, and uh, kind of looks like a monster. I looked away for a second. What happened last game? I won. I killed my opponent. I just I defeated them. Decision makers care about profit. They don't even play games. The problem is people are just stupid and they will take any shit at any price and thank them for it. Like on Asmund's channel, I saw there was a poll about how much people are willing to pay for D4 expansion. Dumbos say they can pay even $100. <laughs> just nothing add to that, really. Yeah, I mean, I think there's some truth to that. The parts I understood. But at the same time, I don't fault a company or a person for wanting to make money or, or for wanting to be more profitable. You know, I don't, I don't fault somebody for that. But at the same time, we should collectively probably try to support things that put out better products for us. And at the end of the day, all companies, even indie companies, they want to make money. They're not making the game so that they can, you know, their wives and can can leave them and their children can go hungry and so they can't afford to buy anything. Like they're not nobody's doing that. People want these things. But it is easy to, to shit on some of those things. And sometimes rightfully so. I mean a lot of the Marvel movies are schlop. A lot of mo modern blizzard blizzard products are a far cry from the games that you know, earned them the reputation of one of the best development studios in the world, right? Shrek twerks. <laughs> Look that up. I was watching you today and you had a Shrek background. I wasn't sure why. I was going to ask, but I, I didn't really want... I, I Sometimes I don't want to know, you know? <laughs> the mystery is part of the allure. But every time you went to drink something, the screen would like turn all green. The, 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 the water would turn all green and it looked like you're just drinking like the, the ooze from the Ninja Turtles. And I thought maybe, just maybe, you know? Maybe, maybe you would turn into a six-foot-tall Ninja Turtle or something. Had my fingers crossed. I fault someone with two billion dollars trying to make 2.2 billion while sacrificing humans' well-being, you know? Or the equivalent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think... I think that's a, that's a thing. But, I, again, I'm not well-versed enough to know what, like, the solution is. Take their money. Eat them? Maybe. If the solution is to eat the people that have a lot of money, let's just say, you know, we're just spitballing here, then I would like to acquire enough money where I'm below the threshold of being eaten. <laughs> That's a threshold I want to kind of just remain at. That's all I'm saying. Put me in the below being eaten threshold. There's no solution to human greed? That's not necessarily true. What about, um, hypnotherapy? Didn't plan on Shrek being a party of today, a part of today, but shit happens. Yeah, I missed where he was there when I when I woke up. 
It all started when Sierra was sold to an investment company in 96. A decade later, most of the good studios got ate up. Corporatiz corporatization of gaming. Well, there's pros and cons to, to pretty much everything, I think. And if you go back and look at the games that were made when I was a kid, when gaming wasn't such a, a big industry, although it was a growing industry, a lot of those games suck. And there were fewer of them, and you had to wait longer, and they were more expensive. So, you know, some of the corporatiz corporatization is not all negative. Somebody go play Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure for the Nintendo Entertainment System and tell me... Tell me we weren't getting fucked back then too, okay? I'll tell you. I think that game cost $80. Give all their money to me, I will fix it. Had some cam issues, had to get Shrek in there as a sub. <laughs> fix the cam, the chat wanted Shrek. <laughs> See, this is why I never give chat what they want. I liked Load Runner. Is that a video game? Or a uh, pornographic search term? Frankly, um, I'm not sure I want to know. Conductivity. Jade? Lightning. Wait, can I jade them now? How do I deal two? I guess I could trade this. I mean, he sort of has to brawl. I'm gonna just save this for after the brawl, right? Do we have a picture of Bossy on the stream in a corner somewhere? Um, we could. Uh, we could. Um, couldn't we? Does this work? Oh, if I show up my butthole or something, I apologize, okay? <laughs> okay, whoops. Oh god, I hit the wrong buttons. <laughs> wow. That's great. Um... What happened to my board? Didn't I have one? Bigger! Why does it look so scared? He's like... Attacking something, I think, there. <laughs> what a guy. If you played an elemental, summon a copy of this. Whoa. Wait, I can't play that? Wow, I can do something like that, maybe. Drop his face over the hero portrait. We can feel really bad when we lose. <laughs> he was looking up at a feather toy, trying to catch it in his mouth. Oh, he wasn't trying. He was doing, probably. That's a guy that catches feather toys. What does this card do? Deal two damage to my whole frickin' board? Hey, give me that! I knew Sebastian could get on the leaderboard! <laughs> He's a good guy. Whoa! Sorry, things got much uglier all of a sudden. Finally, Red's a furry. Uh, can I ask you guys a question? If you guys are familiar with State File, I don't know if Judge is still here. He may have gone to bed. Speaking of furries, <laughs> I don't know if Judge has gone to bed. State File's got a bit where he's like all about the furries. Is this a bit or is this real life? I'm scared to ask. We found your VTubing avatar. Yes, my VTubing avatar. I like it. Does anybody know? Is that a bit? I'm, I'm scared to ask and I'm not sure I want to know. <laughs> I think it's a bit. Okay, okay. We're all drinking. I think it's real. I stumbled onto Save's furry bit and I'm not 100% sure. We love Save almost as much as Save loves that one Hearthstone wolf furry. 
But save it's hard to tell. He plays things very close to his chest. Yeah, it's like he he reveals nothing about himself. Like he, I, I don't know. Do people even know his name? Somebody knew knew his name once. He doesn't want people to know his name. So if you know it, don't tell me right now. I know he lives on the west coast, but nobody knows what state he lives in. One time I asked him how tall he was, and he kind of scolded me a little bit. He was like, Redbeard, you know, I really don't like to share personal information. <laughs> and he, I was like, oh, I didn't. I was like, I wasn't. Oh, I'm sorry. And he's like, but I'll tell you this. He said, when I, this is what he said to me. <laughs> when I walk in a room, I'm very surprised if I'm not the tallest one. Is Orator levels of secrecy? Is Orator that secret? I guess I don't know Orator's name either, and I've hung out with him in person a few times. Uh, Orator lives in Texas, I believe. I don't know if... I thought that was sort of... Sort of semi-public? I think he's in Texas. Aura stories. Oh, Rudy, have you seen the clips I made of Orator, by the way? I feel like you might appreciate them more than Twitch chat. Have you seen them? They just absolutely crack me up. Uh, I need to play more elementals. Next turn. Nope. Okay, hold on a second. I gotta find them. Clips I've created. How do you sort this? Created? Or, uh... Um, okay, I'm gonna give you two, okay, Rudy? I'm gonna give you two, because I may have only made two, or at least I... Uh, wait, I gotta take my turn. I have to play an elemental. Man, for being at eight wins, we almost never had Wildpaw Cavern, which is sort of crazy. Like, on curve or at all. Frost bites sharper than um, where's the share button? Oh, there's the share. Okay, here you go, here you go. I'm gonna click it. This is me cheering the bits, by the way. Uh, that was my old name on Twitch before I... Uh, <laughs> Before I was red, just Redbeard. Uh, trade in trade. Hold on, I'm gonna listen to this. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag charity. Got a yet? Okay, yeah, yeah, fair. I'm gonna give him one more. Oh god. <laughs> I think it's the hashtag charity that really gets me. Okay, here we go. Um, we go four and two. I got this. I'm really proud of these. I'm done. I'm done now. What happened to my board? <laughs> I uh, did not hear about that. That's amazing. He's doing all these very hard platforming tricks with your nonsense. I love it. <laughs> oh, God. Why didn't I wait one turn? He might be a funny man. Who knew? He's so grizzled. He's become very grizzled since that one. These clips are from the ancient times. Who is the mysterious man with the red beard? That's me. That's me. The man with a terrible smell. Break so easily. He breaks so easily. I get another one? Man, this card just feels like cheating. Oh, we might lose, but that card feels like cheating. Why do I always have another minion? Are you not entertained? That's not what I want. Um, that's not what I want. You don't take what costs one? Evolving. Wait, that's not what I wanted to play. I guess it's fine. Um, I guess I'll hit here too. I'm kind of dying. But evolving's great to have. Partner lets you bully others out of their names. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang it. I guess I have no tumbleweed. Um, this card feels so awkward whenever I have it. It's another one of those things where every time somebody plays it against me, my whole board disappears. Guess it wasn't that good for him. 7-2, play a 3-3, three, three. nah. You could see the Optimus then, it had to be 7 years. It's for sure over 6. Well, I might have been streaming. I did stream under the name The Man with the Red Beard for a while. Oh man! 
How disappointing. All three losses, probably, to this stupid card. <laughs> All three losses to Ray Boss and Ixia. At least we made it back up to eight before we saw the third one. Um, I could find a flint. I don't know. I guess flint could give you AoE. It's not a flint. One, one, rip. Yeah, it sucks. I, I would rather lose to different cards. But instead I lost to the same card. Is there even an AoE? Not for two, right? Text to speeching or is chat is the best? Yeah, it's so funny. It really makes you think. Um, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, the Devolving can't hit this? Maybe it can. It's random. I guess you can't target it. But it's like, Devolving it doesn't really do you any good. It turns to a different 8-8. It can, yeah, I think I think it can, as long as it's not targeted. Oh, Judge, you saw all of our losses with this deck? They were all... They were all, um... The Raid Boss and Nixia. All three of them. Still bad, though. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Pretty good run. Uh, I'm very surprised that we got eight wins and had a wild paw on curve like just a few times. Um, Flynn was good, but like honestly, our flints weren't even that good. Just kind of like got on the board. Just started bashing people with like prairies and tumbleweeds. Tumbleweed was probably better than flint or um, whatever. And then this card was always nutty, right? Which is a two mana five five at the smallest. Is a two mana eight eight at the biggest. Just any on those any any time on those turns, it's like so much tempo, right? Um talking 12 win decks seven. You gotta feel good about this meta taking. You think this deck was a 12 win deck? I, I kind of feel like this was a, a lower quality deck. The the mage we played before this felt like it should have done better, and it went seven. I don't think this is a bad deck by any stretch. It's a bunch of cheap stuff that creates more stuff, and usually that's like the 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 power of a deck like this is like you can never have a bad draw 